Okay, this app was originally part of a competition. It was actually a way to uh, teach young persons about how to prevent HIV. So we went through a process of uh, designing uh, an application that can be informative, educational, uh, and actually fun, so that we can have different age ranges, persons working or, or playing with the, with the application. So we had the best developers we have in school as, as students to develop that. What was the timeline in terms of getting this up off the ground, up and running? Well, at the beginning it was a competition, so we just, we just had two months and we did the first draft of it. Um, after that, we had the first release uh, six months later, but we gone through a process of feedbacks and meetings that NAC's uh, organization start to, to ask in some things and um, some requirements. So the total amount of time that we spend making the, the app up to now is two years. According to Chairperson Laura Longsworth, the rationale behind the development of the software was to come up with an interactive approach to sharing critical information about the virus with a younger, more tech-savvy audience. The decision to develop the app is linked to a, a strategy, the National AIDS Response Strategy for the country of Belize. And uh, the need for um, media communication for young people that is attractive and so on. We have the National HIV Strategy coming out of the AIDS Commission. We have the um, strategic plan for the National Committee on Families and Children, the youth policy. Um, other policies tell you the same thing. Let us find a way to get to our young people. And why is that? We have a large number of young people in our community. Um, I think with a, between 15 and, and uh, 24. And then we, we know from, from all our studies that young people engage in risky behavior. We're all young at some point in our lives, but more importantly, we have that data to show. There are numerous studies that show that our young people are a little bit vulnerable and we do we do we need to address that so that we do not lose the gains that have been made in reducing and halting HIV AIDS over the past years.